Hi guys, welcome back. This is 2300 Gaming and bringing another Pokemon TCG Pocket. So I'm really enjoying the game. So I just want to share this like experience to you guys and what I found out in when I was playing the game moving forward. So hopefully you're enjoying and learning together with me. So again, I showed you how to get another rarer Pokemon cards in going into your Wonder Picks. Okay, so you saw my Gardevoir pool, which is really crazy. Using only my two Wonder Picks, usually if you get EX cards from some other players, you're going to be getting, you need at least three Wonder Picks in order for you to activate that. So I was able to luckily get another Mewtwo EX in the past. I didn't really record it because I I didn't really think that I need to like make content for this game, but I was really into the game. So hence me making content for you guys just to share it to the community. So now I have a Gardevoir, right? So I don't have... So if I go to my card deck, so if I go, hopefully I have, so decks, and then if I go, I'm setting up my Mewtwo deck, so here, so edit, so I think, I'm not quite sure if I have routes, so see, I have, see, look at this, so I have routes here, so I don't really need to get routes, I have two. So I can put in routes there. I'm going to be removing one. And then the only thing that I need, the only thing that I need is going to be Kirilla. So Kirilla, how you get it? How do you target this Pokemon? Because it's really hard for you to get a specific Pokemon or evolution Pokemon of your choice. But you have a thing called, once you summon, I'll show you the trick. Okay, it's like advanced advanced trick for you guys okay this is gonna be an advanced trick so whenever you summon booster packs okay you get points so for example you summon booster packs here you get points for that so you will see points here on okay i have i'll be able to summon one later on we'll do that one later so you see points here right whenever you summon you accumulate points and when you accumulate points you can exchange it with cards here okay i have 35 uh, i have 20 points here so for example I'll be able to, I need 50 more for me to get the second evolution. Most likely, that's going to be my target for me to have another set of uh, Gardevoir, Gardevoir. So, two evolutions for Gardevoir for my card so that my Mewtwo will be being online very quickly. So, once you get here, where I, we need to find out where's that, uh, where is that Pokemon? So, here, I need Kirilla. So Kirilla needs to be 70. I owned one, so I need to have one more so that it's two. Again, in your deck, you only need to have two copies of each. You don't have, it's not unlimited. You only need two, two of each, okay? Even if you're accessory also, I've already made a video. Need two of each for your cards, only two copies, okay? So I only need one more Kirilla, so I need to find out. Uh, I need to accumulate points by what summoning so that you can specifically pinpoint characters or you can also buy a Mewtwo EX but the problem is if EX character it's gonna be hard it's 500 my advice is not to go there try to at least go for cards that can set up your EX cards moving forward but it's still up to you if you want to save 500 to get that Mewtwo EX you can do that as well there's a choice for you 500 get the Mewtwo EX or get the final evolution of a character, get 150 points, Kirilla 70, and the basic one at 35. So that's how you pinpoint and target a selected Pokemon. Just like in any other gacha, that's gonna be your um, your summoning and your PT, technically. You have a selector. So that's gonna be your selector in this uh, Pokemon TCG gacha game. So hopefully that serves your purpose, like that serves... An advice for you guys moving forward so that you can pinpoint and build your deck as much as possible or as fast as possible so i hope this helps like subscribe hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out Bye bye